I've had Valentine in a ton of my list. Wow, we have Doomblade Swords. Some good rares. They don't really mesh very well. Okay, Archmage is great. And the other one is Rushed Rebirth. I don't like that one. <sighs> Damn, Triple Thunderous. Card's very nice. Doomblade, Eliminate. Red doesn't look very good, though. All right, let's look at the multicolored cards. Got some really strong Witherbloom stuff over there. Humiliate, Statement, Rise, good. Double Reconstruct for the value plays. Ah! No science again, though. No science. Double Inkling to go learn for Anatomy. Double Inkling is really not... Oh, wait. I don't have very much learn. <laughs> I think this is a beatdown plan. This card's very nice. I don't know if we want the lower hold pledge mages, but maybe we do. Especially if I'm going to run some number of like professor's warnings with it. Yeah, we might run the star pupil with village rights too. Get a little clever. When will I learn my lesson about black white? Every time I've drafted or sealed it today, it's been terrible. Or that is to say, I've lost. <sighs> when will he learn? This might actually be the right deck for promising Dusk Mage. Guiding Voice, two star pupils, uh, Professor's Warning, and Essence Infusion. This looks good to me. Yeah, maybe the infusion's not worth running, but everything else seems fine. All right, let's go. No, no, no. I 7-0 faster than I 0-3. That's just how math works. Also science. That is not what I wanted to do. 16 land, then draw land, land to start. No, thank you. This is super aggressive and greedy, but that's what my deck is, so. No, I can't campus that. When will you learn, old man? <laughs> and then this is where they play a pledge mage and now I can't beat it, right? Jesus, these lands. Very, very good draw. Very, very good draw. Let's put this on the... This is actually kind of close. But I think we'll go ahead and put it on the pew. I should probably 
the scry. Or just draw the perfect. I think we're gonna hold off on the closing statement. Maybe get them with a fight effect. I might give them a couple extra points of life off of the Pledge Mage, but I don't think that's too problematic. Also lets us scry if they don't do anything. So now I'm going to use it. And the reason for this is we put them on a two turn clock. Because if their best play last turn was Mage Hunter, then they clearly didn't have any removal spell or whatever, you know? Okay. And this is where we're going to get rewarded by drawing the main deck Inkling, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, those are both two drops that do a ton of work. It's not very hard to make the Thunderous or Killian annoying AF. OP's probably like, deal! <laughs> sure. We have the pillar drop, so I didn't mind trading off the two. that one. <laughs> Getting back swords is kind of big game. This would suck if they had their scry land going active, but if they're just attacking for one, I don't mind waiting at all. Oh, hello. Pretty funny if they untapped their lands and went for protection and then I just swords. So I went with Campus Guide there because this is uh, has rules, right? I can only target a creature with power 4 or greater. Swords can be used on anything. Is it possible putting in their graveyard punishes me a little bit? Absolutely. But I mean, I have so much other removal that I think that's fine. Tentacle Monster, thank you for that 25 month sub. That's a good draw. We're probably not going to want to bring back our campus guide. Odds are we're going to want to bring back one of these eventually. This is kind of a weird game now. Great draw. Edwin Chang, thank you for the six months sub. How are you? Thank you.
targeting the Pledge Mage with the Professor here so that uh, we can attack with it and still leave it on blocks. I'm gonna go ahead and sword before they can gain an extra life. What I could also do is let it resolve. They go to attack with it. I sword a token and then block with a pledge mage. Oh boy, chat. Why you do this? Oh, here comes Rise of Extus. Not well. Don't ask. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't, but I kind of want to just get some value. <laughs> All right, I will fire off my rise. So we can play around Expel by Anatomy on our Pillar Drop if they don't kill it immediately. What else? I think they just want to gain life there. And even if they do Wrath. The full cost. in their hands. We can hit them for quite a bit here. Both creatures lethal next turn, so. Seems fine. Ooh, if they find... No, that doesn't matter. My favorite part. Oh, that's Watch a hot draw, though. Fade. Boom. Sorry, lady. I'm ignoring you. Combo. We got the star pupil plus the village rights. Combo! No schools. Oh my gosh. How can you defeat such power? It's turn two. I have three creatures. Is this cheating? This infinite value. Now the pupil goes onto the pupil. And now when this other pupil gets pupiled, we get to pupil on top of the other stuff. Cascade of value. Oh, that card's very good.
Psych! You thought it was a 2 2, but it's a 3 3. <laughs> Humiliating. Yeah, just six vigilance menace lifelink. No big deal. <laughs> uh here you go. All right, they're holding up Revitalize. Draw a flyer, go. Attack it. Easy clap. Look at this, look how many keywords it has. It has four different symbols that I'm not even gonna, like that one's clearly flying. That one's lifelink. I don't know which one's menace. And I don't know which one's vigilance, but. Words. Goddamn words. Now, I, I cannot sleep on the, the Light Scribe. It can kill out of nowhere. If anybody was watching yesterday, you'll know how much damage that can do out of nowhere, especially if they have any of those, like the, the Storm card, the plus one plus one in Vigilance card. Search your library and graveyard for up to four creature cards with different names that each have a mana value X or less and reveal them. If an opponent chooses two of those cards, you shuffle them into your library and put the rest onto the battlefield. Huh. Interesting. Well, if your opponent only selects two creatures, then they both go to the graveyard. Or whatever, shuffle them back into the library. You have to choose three or more to get a creature on the battlefield. They have no land. Dinah, Dinah, Dinah. So we're going to trade life linking blows here. Okay, if you hit a land this turn, but if you brick again, you're probably D E D. All right, all right, all right. Maybe a game. Oof, that card's very good. Obviously I could have done this for 5 mana and got in for more damage, but I wanted to make sure I get some extra value there. Since we have village rights in our hand, getting an extra token seems decent. Could be wrong though. Maybe that's not a good play. 
GG's. Yeah, secret reach. <laughs> Too many secret reach cards. Fine. Fine, I'll kill the 3-3 three, because three, it lets me attack with more creatures. You may eat my 1-1 one, one, if you please. That swords was pretty loose, I didn't need to do it. Give me the tokens. I crave the tokens. Durek, thank you for the three months sub. Chat, I didn't want an 8-8. I could have just made it indestructible instead. Duh. Come on now. Damn, this hand is nuts. Oh, this hand is insane. One drop, two drop, kill your creature. Look at your hand, kill your creature. Really? <laughs> you restarted once, nothing happened. You restarted again and you were put back in the game. Oh no, I'm probably gonna get a loss then, aren't I? I guess I need to take the removal spell here. Hmm. Hmm? Yeah. Grab an island. Oh, I'm at four wins already. What on earth? Flyer! Easy chat. Chat, did you ever think about just drawing what you need? When you ask for it? Stupid. Stupid. God, come on. Get good. That's how you win! If you want to win the arena open, you just gotta do as I say. I know. <laughs> I don't want to kill any of those. Ninety-nine percent chance I'll show a loss after the match, regardless of this outcome. So if I lose this, will I get a second loss? That's the real question. Really? Ooh. Well, we'll just see. You never know. I'm a bronze god. I don't get losses like that. Trust me. Jeez, look at this hand! Hold it! Sorry, OP, but you have no power here.
I don't want to waste a removal spell in the Dream Strix. I'd rather just go like this. Still have on a two turn clock. Chat, no loss. Easy game. I'm a golden god. You can't give me a loss when I didn't earn it. <laughs> Just quit the client whenever I'm about to lose. Easy clap. Eh, I don't think I need the Guiding Voice yet. Hold it for a Pledge Mage. You might not be able to eliminate something this turn. It does look like a draft deck, doesn't it? Sorry, OP. You can't expel. When I've got the professor, I apologize. Could they have a wrath here? Absolutely. Could they also have nothing because I'm great and I can't lose? Yes. Seven wins before you get your third loss for the uh for the open on day one. Day two is always going to be best of three and is going to be much harder. I think you can only take one loss on day two. I'm just going to push the pressure. Two losses and you're out. You can lose up to one game. As soon as you lose the second, you're done. <laughs> Card's good. All right, what you got in there, homie? Flash of Miliche, try to get me. Could just be a professor's warning. Yeah, if they're not immediately lashing, it's probably a warning. Or maybe they're thinking of village writing, but more likely, yep. That is a kind of scary amount of cards. I think I just have to take the infusion. I could take Professor's Warning too, but the infusion on the dra- no, I'm gonna take the infusion. It's too much life on the Dragon's Guard Elite, even if they just hit once. Probably just gonna pass now with Burry open. Mom, you've always been a paid actor. I 
think I'm planning on shuffling away my Thunderous. Although I guess they might do it to the token, in which case I'm fine with that as well. Great, that's good actually. Still gaining four here. Chat, you might see the very rare pump your team defend the campus. Let them scry. After scry resolve, we can uh, closing statement while they don't have their warning available. The question is, what do I want to put the counter on? It's probably going to be one of these two. These ones are already super relevant as is. Put it on Tino. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, I might have missed lethal here. <laughs> I wonder if plus one plus one was actually lethal because they. Yeah, well, plus one plus one might have been lethal. <laughs> Yeah. All right, easy clap. Back to back seven zeros. Thank you, Thunderous.